John 21, verse number 15. Kung nanas, amen? amen. Tanang manindog paliog para sa pagbasa sa pulong sa Diyos. John 21, verse 15, 16, and 17. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Messiah. Busa sa dihak na sila nakakaon na si Jesus nagingon nga ni Simon Pedro. Simon, lalaki na nak ni Jonas, nagahigugma ka ba kanako labaw pa ni ini? I just noticed something I've never noticed before. Kinsa mi hatag sa nickname sa angga na Peter nga ito niya. Si Jesus ni hatag niya sa bagong ngalan. Nining panahona, si Peter nagbalik sa yung daan kinabuhi ng isda. Nabuta mo dito. Yep, that's why we put those up. Nagbalik siya sa yung daan kinabuhi ng isda. Giyapon siya. And what does Jesus call him? He calls him by his old name. Simon. It's just, I just now, I've never noticed that before. Very interesting. Verse 16, sa Masaya. I, I stopped in the middle, I'm sorry. Siya nagingo nga ito kaniya. O ginoo, ikaw nahibulong ako naghigugma kanimo. Siya nagingo nga ito kaniya. Pakan a ang akong nating mga karonero. Siya nagingo nga ito kaniya pag-usab sa ikaduhang ang hikayon. Simon, lalaki na nak ni Jonas, nagahigugma ba, I'm sorry, nagahigugma ka ba kanako? Siya nagingon nga ito kaniya. O ginoo, ikaw nahibulong nga ako naghigugma kanimo. Siya nagingon nga ito kaniya. Pakan a ang akong mga karnero. Siya nagingon nga ito kaniya sa ikatulong nga higayon. Simon, lalaki na nak ni Jonas, naghigugma ka ba kanako? Si Pedro nasubo tungod kay siya may ingon kaniya sa ikatulong nga higayon. Nagahigugma ka ba kanako? O siya may ingon nga ito kaniya. Ginoo, Ikaw na hibalo sa tanan ng mga butang, ikaw na hibalo nga ako naghigugma kanimo. Si Jesus nagaingon nga ito kaniya, pakan a ang akong mga karnero. The title of my message, it doesn't translate real well into the sign, but the title of my message is, Do You Love Me More? Nahigugma baka kanako labaw pa. Pero ni kinahangla ni ini sa basaya, di ba? Dali klaro kung magsulti labaw pa. But sa English, okay naman, nagahigugma baka kanako nga labaw pa. Meaning, sa lain, labaw pa sa lain butang. Do you love me more? Do you love me more? Father, would you please bless the, this final message of 2023. God, you've done so much in, in this little auditorium in the last 12 months. You've worked in hearts. People have made decisions. Lives have been changed. Now, dear God, would you meet with us one more time tonight? Would you fill me with your spirit as I preach? Would you empower me? Would you give me the energy and the zeal that I need to impart the truth of the message tonight? Lord God, I love you and our people love you. We want you to use us here in the Pitan City. Please, God, bless us tonight. Bless the message. Work in our hearts. We love you, Lord. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pwede kumo maglingkod. Si Peter, naigugma sa pagpangista. What's the word you all use for that? Namasol? Is that, is that fish or is that crabs? Uh, Managat is fishing. 
Do you use the word pagpanista? Fishing? Gikan sa yung pagkabata, morag, wak gyud siya naghunohuna kabayin sa bisan unsang lain, bisan unsang lain nga panginabuhi. Kanunay, nagplano siya nga mahimong uh, uh, fisherman. Iyang papa, usika, uh, fisherman. Morag, ang yang lolo, o yang uh, papa, etc., etc., etc. Morag, ang tanantaw sa yung pamilya, dugay na, mga fishermen, dito sa Sea of Galilee. Peter loved fishing. Morag, gikan sa yung pagkabata, he nearly lived on the Sea of Galilee. Kanuna ay nasa dito na nanagar uban sa yung papa, magbalik ikan sa uh, uh, fishing, ug mo, magtabang sa pag, ma, pag uh, 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 limpyo, pag huga sa mga, mga uh, net, so nag, uh, uh, nag, what do you call it in, in Visayan? Cleaning the fish. Uh, nag, we say in English, you clean the fish, meaning mukuha sa tanan sa salon, nga dalit makaon. Huh? Limpio giapon, so cleaning, just like in English. So, nag, lim, nagtabang siya sa yung papa, naglimpyo sa ista. And, and uh, Probably, he never dreamed that he would be anything but a fisherman. Kana ang plano, kana ang trabaho sa papa, siyempre kana ang iyang trabaho po. By the way, it was a healthier time in the world when fathers followed, when sons followed in their father's footsteps. It was just, it was a healthier time when, when, Men had a good profession and they taught it to their son. It was just healthier for the culture. Not every son should follow his father, but that was a good time in, in history of the world. In America and wherever else, that's not a bad thing. But when we started sending everybody, oh, everybody needs to go to the university, we, we kind of lost that. And, 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 and as far as I'm concerned, it was better when people just grew up with a, with, a, with a work that they knew from their childhood. It was just a healthier culture, in my opinion. But Peter loved fishing. It was what he knew. It was what he loved. He was good at it. He enjoyed it. Peter, we would say in English, was a fisherman through and through. Meaning, sa kinatibukan. What is fisherman? Manginista? Mangingista siya sa kinatibukan. Iyang tibu kinabuhi. That's what he was. But one day, ang tanan sa iyang kinabuhi na usob gayod, na change gayod, sa diya si Jesus Christo niyabot. Jesus Christ arrived, said, Follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And that day, G Peter gave up fishing and took up preaching. You understand that expression? Gave up nagbuhi, took up is nagsugod. He gave up fishing and took up preaching. He became a fisher of men. I can't say it. I'm saying something wrong. Siyempre, kapalutas sa story. He followed Jesus for three years and then niabot niya ng makalilisang adlaw na si Cristo gidako gi hukom ni Pilate o gilansan sa cross na wala na ang tanan paglaom tungur ang mga disciples wala na minaw ni Kristo balik-balik siya nagsulti niya nila ako mamatay ako ilubong o ako mabanhaw wala sila na minaw wala sila na kasabot so niya na nga adlaon si Kristo na matay and there's a song I have on my phone I like it it says every dream I dared to dream died upon that cross ang tanan nilang paglaom na matay o ban ni Kristo diya sa cross three days later Si Cristo na banhaw. But we know the story of Peter. Sa diha, sa wala pa si Cristo gidakop, si Peter is so good. Alam na ko, mamatay! Alang kanimo. Now, just for, the, just for the record, he was telling the truth. Si Peter, pero siyang, siyang naglimon ni Cristo. Yes, he did. Pero alam na good siya mamatay ni Cristo. How do you know that? Siya na lang nagkuha sa yung espada sa diha ang tibok army ni Abot Arumodakop ni Cristo. When he pulled his sword, he was going to die. And Jesus said, put your sword away, Peter. He was ready to die, but he wanted to die as a hero, not a martyr. He did not want to die nailed to a cross next to his Savior. And we know the story. Brave Peter 
became cowardly Peter. Um, naglimod, di ba? Naglimod siya sa yung manluluwas. Not once, not twice, but three times. Diya sa yung kahadlok. Naglimod siya sa yung gigugma na manluluwas. No doubt, ang yung kaulaw. This is Peter. Di yun ko mo! Salikwani mo! Maulaw na gayon. Ang yang kaula walay limitado. Giluod na siya sa iyang kaugalingon. Kaya sa itaway, giluod na siya sa iyang kaugalingon. Bisan human sa pagbanhaw ni Kristo, kana nga kaula wala na wala. Sa iyo pang grammar. Kaya sa wala na wala. Okay. Okay naman. <coughs> Nagpadayong giyapo ng iyang kaula. Even after Jesus said, Hey! Ladies! Oh, no, actually, it was the angel who said, uh, Inga, ang disciples, ug si Peter. Nga, si Cristo mutagbo nila dito sa Galilee. Even after that confirmation, Peter, you're still one of the apostles. Ganan si Cristo, mukita ni mugihapon dito sa Galilee. Even after that. Bisan human sa confirmation, kanak nga assurance, kikan sa sayang manluluwas. Nagpas ang giyapon si Peter sa sa dakong kabugat on sa pagkasadaan o kaulaw. Na he, can I say na hinawain siya sa yung kaugalingon? Can I say that? He was disappointed in himself. Even after he saw Jesus in the upper room, ang maot ng mga hunahuna nagpadayon. Morag siya nagsulti sa yung kaugalingon balik-balik. Si Jesus tili na makagamit ni mo, ikaw ang mapakyason. Oh, yeah, ikaw nagunong nga, shh, iso kayo. Dahil yung diha sa panahon sa kalisod na pakyas gayon. Do you ever talk to yourself that way? Mapakyason giyapon ka? Wala na kay, Peter, wala na kay pulo sa lang sa ginoo? Mas mayaw pa kung ikaw mo undang na you ever have thoughts like that come into your mind? Listen to me very carefully. They always come from the devil. You know the devil can put thoughts in your mind? Say, but I'm saved. mind. Those thoughts never come from God. Basta lang nagginhawa pa ka ang Diyos ka ng giyapon mo gamit ni mo. Oh, mapakyason ko. Mm-hmm. Kitang kanan mapakyason. If God wants to use anybody, He has to use failures. Kung ikaw mo pagamit niya, siya mo gamit ka ni mo. But eventually, Pat Peter's bad thought patterns began to take their toll. Something you'll take their toll. That's an ex- English expression meaning naka naka pekto niya sa maot nga paagi, naka paluya kaniya. Take their toll. It's, you understand toll? Ang bayad para sa pag uh, pag sa kaisa uh, sa pasin na idalan na bayad. That's a toll road na tulay na bayad. Hina hina ang yung maot nga paagi sa paghunuhuna nag paluya kaniya. And eventually, bisan buhit na. Si Cristo. Bisan siya mismo nakastorya ni Cristo. Face to face. Nagatubangay. Iyang gisulte. Balik ako sa pagpangista. Bumibalik na siya. Naghuno na siya. Sada ya, fisherman pa ko, mas malipayon ko. Karon dagang kagubot. I mean, sada ya, fishing ko, simple kayo ang kinabuhi. Karon gubot kayo. Komplikado man. Siya nag-decision, balik na lang ko. If you're still in John, go back to John 21, verse 3. Let's look at the story. John 21, verse 3. John 21, verse 3. Kunanas, amen? amen? Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a-fishing. They say unto him, we also go with thee. Just a pause. Kung ikaw mo balik, Kung ikaw mo atras, ay mong kristuhan ang kinabuhi, kung ikaw mag-backslide, na itaw mo kuyog ni mo. 
walay tao magino sarad yah sa pag backslide. You always listen to me. Backsliding is always selfish because it's not just you. Oh, I'm just hurting myself. No, you're hurting everybody who follows you. I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. Si Simon Pedro, Pedro naging ng ato kanila. Ako mo ato sa pagpangista. Sila naging ng ato kaniya. Kami usab mo ato uban kanimo. By the way, there were six disciples who went with them. Seven satanan. Which is funny. I don't even think all of those guys were fishermen. Sila naging ng ato kaniya. Kami usab mo ato uban kanimo. Sila ng ato ug dihat dihat na nakai sa uskas sa kayaan ug niana ng gabi. Sila walay nakuha. Can I just take a time out and say here tonight, once Jesus has saved you and brought you out of the world, you can try to go back, but it's never the same again. Kung si Kristo miluwas na ni Moog, nagdalit mong gawa sa kalibutan, nagstart ka, nagtubo, nagkatun ka sa pulong sa Diyos, nagstart ka, nagalagat sa gino, makasulay ka mo balik. Pero delik gayon, mahisama imong kinabuhi, sama sa imong kaagi. I think I just messed up the Visayan, but you understand. They, watch me now, caught nothing. Walay nakuha. Sa una, nalingaw ka sa ilim noon, pero karoon ang pag-inom, mahatag lang ni mo sa pagmahay o pagkasadaan. Sa una, nalingaw ka, nagbantay sa dirty movies, pero kung ikaw mo bantay karoon, magbati ka, mahugawan. Sa una, nalingaw ka sa mga dirty jokes, nag-joke-joke, ubansay mong kalibutan, hong nga friends, pero karoon, dali comfortable. You can try to go back, but it's never the same again. You know too much. Your conscience has been retrained by the teaching of the Word of God. You've already experienced the joy of being right with God. You will never be happy while you're backslidden. Nanakai, balang espiritu, gapuyo, salud ni mo. And he hates all the wickedness and filth of this world. You won't be able to enjoy it. You can try to go back. Apan. Ikaw walay makuha dito. Are you listening? Makasulay ka, pero walay makuha. Walay kalipay. Now here's what I want to do. We're going to read through this story only in the English. You have your Bibles. Most of us have an English version. If you don't, just listen. And as we read the story, I want you to pay attention to what the theme of the story is. Unsa man ang tema ni ining sugilan nun? John 21 verse 3, See, Simon, Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a what? They say unto him, We also go with thee. So they also went a fishing. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. Caught no what? Unsa wala na nila? Isda. Verse 4, But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? Unsay klase sa meat iyang gihis good. Ista. They answered him, No. I love that. No. <laughs> you ever seen somebody who's backslidden? Mobot ka sa yung balay? Kamusta ilang panagway? Diba? Walay kalipay. Nakay nakuha? No. Malipay ba ka? Yes, malipay kayo. Aha, na ako mo tohon nimo. Have you any meat? No. No what? Fish. Verse 6. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. Find what? Find what? Fish. They cast, therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of what? So now I dag hang ista. Verse seven. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved, that's John, saith unto Peter, "It is the Lord." Now, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat upon him, unto him, for he was naked and did cast himself into the sea. I don't think that means walak gayud shasaninas in the Bible. 
showing anything from here to here is called nakedness. So, con, con, what do you call that? What's hukas? Naghukas? In the Bible, that would call, be called being naked. So, chances are, nag short sha, pero wala shirt. Where are we here? Um, I lost my place. Did, uh, girt his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciple came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were 200 cubits, dragging the net with what? As soon as that, soon then, as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and what laid thereon? Fish. Unta giluto ni Jesus. Fish. Stop it, Gillette. Dili kumukaon giapod. Maslami ang kamatayon. Fish laid thereon and bread. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the what? Fish which ye have now caught. I love the word now. Wala mo in nakuha sa wala pa ko niyabot. Na, na, di ba? Unta inyong nakuha. Na, na, na kodere. Unta inyong nakuha. Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land full of great, full of great fishes. And hundred and hundred and fifty three. Hundred and fifty three what? Fish. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Remember last time Jesus did this miracle, the net broke? This time it didn't. I think the reason is Jesus only told him one net this time. Last time he said nets, they put down one. This time he said net. I checked earlier when I was writing the sermon. He said net. Well, not na gisi young net. Interesting. Where are we now? Jesus, verse 12. Uh, no, I lost my head. 53 fishes. And for all that, there was, yet was not the net broken. Verse 12. Jesus saith unto them, come and dine. Something will dine. Kaonata. So what are they going to eat? Fish. I, I never, I don't notice. Peter was backslidden at this point. Just pointing out. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou, knowing that it was the Lord? Jesus then cometh and taketh bread and giveth them, and what? Fish likewise. Now I'm going to ask you a really, really hard question. Uh, you have to be a real Bible scholar. Greek or Hebrew. I don't know if too big. Too big. Too big. Unsay tima ni ini nga sugilanon? Fish. What did Peter love doing? Fishing. What did Peter love eating? Fish. Why did Peter forsake God's calling on his life to catch? Fish. Ha. <laughs> and now we've come back to our text verse. Look at verse 15. We're going to skip over verse 14. Look at verse 15. Kunana, say amen. So when they had dined, so bago pa sila nagfinish ng aunsa, isda, when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Than these what? Fish. Growing up in Sunday school, ang mga teacher nag, nagtulo na mo, wala me sure kung say possible sa these, pulong these. And I got a little older and I said, I'm sure the whole story is about fish. Jesus, here's what it is. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Diba? Busa sa diha nga sila nakakaon na si Jesus naging ang ato ni Simon Pedro. Simon, lalaki na ni Jonas, nagahigugma ka ba ka na ako labaw pa Ni ini. Jesus said, Peter, I know that you love fish. I know you love fishing. So I just need to ask the question, do you love me more? Are you listening? Do you love me more? Naiguma baka kanako labao pa nining mga ista. May I say tonight, kitang tanan, we all have something in our lives that we love. Something that is more important to us than all the other areas of our lives. For Peter, it was fish and fishing. Akumangotana, what is it for you? 
What do you love? May I say it wasn't wrong for Peter to love fishing? There's nothing wrong with loving your work. Jesus did not say, love me instead. He asked, do you love me more? Do you love me more? So what is it for you? Are you listening? Pahawasha, Julius. Pahawasha. Ah, muato siya. Okay naman. Okay naman. Buwanga iro. Did you all see this morning? This morning's service was crazy. How many things disturbed us during that message? Good night. I don't think the devil liked that message at all. Some of you think, Ako put Pastor Dariko Ganahan. Hmm, well. So I asked tonight, what is it for you? What do you love in life? What is the one thing you love doing? What is the thing that holds your heart? For some people, it's family. We all love our family, but some people, it's especially family. Some people, it's work. <coughs> That's your pastor. I love to work. If I could only work and never eat or sleep, I would. And then all of you would die, then I would die. And nothing good would come. So I tried to learn to sleep and eat sometimes. For some young men, are you listening? It's sports. For some people, it's... <laughs> for some... Hey, watch. For some people, it's music, listening, or playing. For others, it's their dreams of a future career. Kung dako na ko, ganang ko mo ato ni ining university mo kuat ni ining at the grill, mahimong ko usaka. For others, it's uh, some form of entertainment. Movies, music, social media, books, games, etc. Unsa man ang isda alang kanimo. What do you love? For some people, it's money. For some people, it's that dream car. Nah, Misa. Uh, where were we? Me and Mom Ruth. Not shopping me last week. Uh, dito sa, sa city mall. In Karo Nasilai's um, shop where they sell new vehicles there. Manga SUV. So ako na matanat nila kabain sa mga presyo. Wak ko'y plano mo pali. I never ever buy new vehicles. Never. Because when you buy a new vehicle, except a motorcycle, because that's different. But when you buy a new car, as soon as you drive it out of the parking lot, the, temp the, pro the value of the car cuts in half. Derezo, kay delit na bago. You drive it one kilometer, it literally loses half the value. With some exceptions, but the expensive nice cars we're talking about. Do you know how much that truck cost? The, this is the manual transmission. I don't even know how much the automatic was. Konikamu by a cash on delivery, it was 1,630,000 kapin. Konikamu by a og sa utang, mag down payment ka. 8,000 lang ang down payment. Pero matag bulan, 33,000. So ako nag-start, It's funny, when you talk to salespeople, as soon as you pull your phone out and start calculating how much you're going to pay in interest, makulbat na sila. Because they know, if you know how much the interest is, they good ka mo palit ng utang, pinagi sa utang. And para, para sa truck, mas gamay ang ut ang interest kaysa dagang lain. Pero, hapit na 2 million ang truck. So more than 300,000 pesos ang tubo. And para sa Pilipinas, gamay ka na ang rate. Five years. That's a small rate in the Philippines. That's small. But some people, oh, kalagunian ang pickup truck. I don't understand that. But some people have this dream, this thing they desire. So I ask, 
What is it for you? What do you love? I'm not saying it's wrong to love it. Money is wrong to love, but many things is perfectly acceptable. Whatever it is, bisanunsang butang agigug mani mo. Si Cristo mga tanak ni mo sa mga shana ng tanak ni Peter dere. Can we look at the verse again? John twenty one fifteen. John twenty one fifteen. John twenty one fifteen. Kunana say amen. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Busa sa dehak na sila na kakaon na si Jesus naging on ni Simon Pedro, Simon, lalaki na nak ni Jonas, nagahigugma kabaka na ako labaw pa ni Ini, siya naging on ngato kaniya, oo, ginoo, ikaw nahibalong ako naghigugma kanimo, siya naging on ngato kaniya, pagkat ang akong nating mga karnero. Did anybody else notice something very strange about this conversation? Peter didn't answer the question Jesus asked. Si Jesus wala nang otana, Peter, na iguma pakakanako? He said, Peter, na iguma pakakanako, labaw pa ni ini. Pero Peter, nagtubag lang, oh, na iguma ko kanimo. That's not what Jesus asked. Jesus is not interested in being loved second. He wants to be first. O naashay katungod nga maninghil niya na. The question Christ asked tonight is, Christian, not do you love me? Do you love me more? career dreams. You fill in the blank. The question Christ asks is, do you love me more? And my fear is, Dagan Christohan, on Sama Gayud ni Peter, kita mo tugo, mo tubo, mo tubag. Oh, gino! Na guma giapun ko ni mo! And Jesus says, that's not what I ask! Kana Gayud, dilig, ang akong pangatana! I want to know if you love me more. Well, Pastor Mike, I, I'm not sure. Un saon na ko pagibalo kung well, that's in the verse 2. Claro, gayud. How do you know if you love something more than Jesus? Look at the verse again. Verse 5. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon, Simon Peter, sorry, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And I'm tu bagni Cristo. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Siya ang nagaingon nga ito kaniya, pagkan a ang akong nating mga karnero. How do you know if you love something else more than you love your Savior? It's simple. Does that thing stop you from feeding His sheep? Unsa'y kababut un sa Diyos para ni Peter? Siya ang mupakaon sa mga karnero sa Diyos. Tinood? So Jesus said, okay, you, you said you love me. Do you love me enough to follow my will? Because if something stops me from following God's will, I love that more. Is that clear? Kung nai butang mubabag ka na ko gikan sa pagsanuts ka bubut un sa Diyos para sa akong kinabuhi. Claro, bang 
Klarong kamatuuran. Jesus said, do you love me more? Peter said, yes, I love you. And Jesus said, okay, feed my sheep. Well, here, feed my lambs. If you love him more, you'll follow his will. If you don't follow his will, there's something else you love more. And may I just say, that is the biblical definition of idolatry. Commandment number one. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. A yao, can I say, I don't want to say a yao. A yao pag una sabisan unsa. I understand before is atuban. But it's the idea of unhun. Unhun. Put first. Bisan unsa na unhun na ko. Ni Cristo. Is this doctrinally clear? Subtanba. Pastor Mike, how do I know if I love something more than Jesus? Simple. Kanat bang butanga nagababag kanimo gikan sa pagserbisyo kaniya o pagsunod sa yung kabubuton. If your family stops you from serving God, your family is an idol. Are you listening? If a sport keeps you from being faithful to church, that sport is an idol. Kung nai barkada, namo palayo ni mo sa gino, gikan sa gino o kana nga barkada. Mao ang imong jos jos. Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, you know, you know. Kapalo ka na ako magkoni mo. Sige, feed my sheep. Prove it. Prove it. We have an English expression: the proof is in the pudding. Never heard that one, have you? I don't even know how to explain that expression. The proof is in the pudding. I can't explain that. <laughs> That's old. It's very simply, it means this. Kung tinood man, makatilaw tao o kabalong na tinood. There will be evidence that's what it means. Na evidencia, puede tilawon. That's what it means. I understand now. So Christian, paminaw na kukaron. This is our faithful Truth Baptist Church Sunday night crowd. Listen to me. As we end 2023, I simply want to ask: Do we love Him more? And if not, if there's something else, let's take the idol out of our heart and put Jesus back on his throne. Ipabalik si Jesus nga to sa yang trono o kwa bisan un sa laing a nagpuli kaniya. Do you love me more? And every head bowed, every eye closed.